Right now, more than 6 million Americans live with heart failure. A number, experts predict, will grow to more than 8 million in the next five years. But there's some good news for people living with symptoms. Channel 5's Naomi De Lucia reports. The good news is that now, for the first time ever, there's a new technology that will help patients. Um, I've been riding motorcycles since I was seven. Jim Balala was riding his Hardy when his journey took a sharp turn. They rushed to the hospital. They told me that that time that he probably was having a heart attack for about 13 hours. After surgery, Jim was put into an induced coma for 12 days. Medications and a defibrillator kept Jim's heart beating, but left him with debilitating fatigue. They don't treat heart failure. Patients are still left with their symptoms and the debilitation. Cleveland Clinic's cardiac electrophysiologist Neeraj Varma is leading a national study for Integra D. Jim was the first person in the world to have the implant that combines two proven cardiac therapies into a single implantable device. It delivers cardiac contractility modulation as well as defibrillator therapy. Cardiac contractility modulation works daily to improve the contraction of the heart, making it stronger and relieving symptoms while a defibrillator treats life-threatening arrhythmias that cause sudden cardiac death. And unlike a traditional defibrillator that needs to be replaced every 10 years, the Integra D will last 20 years. This is a, a game changer in the world of implantable device therapies because it is rechargeable. Within two weeks of getting the implant, Jim has twice as much energy and is now looking forward to a summer back on his bike. The Integra D clinical study is evaluating the safety and effectiveness of the device. The clinical trial will enroll 300 patients from 75 centers across the U.S. and those patients will be followed for two years. With your medical breakthroughs, I'm Naomi De Lucia with Channel 5 News.